When setting up a DSP, most people focus on configuring equalization and other signal processing functions. But in many applications, the system control logic, which acts behind the scenes, is just as important. Dynacord MXE matrix mix engines offer a control port with configurable general purpose inputs and outputs, commonly known as GPIOs. This video shows how to configure GPIO logic to control a DSP zone level from an analog control panel using a 0 to 10 volt control voltage range. First, we need to set the right operation for the control port. In Setup, we select GPIO and click on our MXE labeled Matrix 1. The GPIO flyout opens. In the GPIO flyout, the IOs can be configured as either analog in, digital in, or digital out. In order to control a DSP level, we need to set MXE GPIO 1 as analog in. In this example, we're using the zone mixer configuration with two zones as shown in the MXE zone mixer video. Now we need to open Logic. In the catalog to the left, you see a variety of tasks. In our example, we need an analog task. So let's drag it onto the Logic workspace. First thing to do, label your task. Open Analog Task again and add a block labeled My Job Name to the workspace and connect it to the Analog Task block by dragging it onto the Name connection cutout. Let's give it a label that describes what we want to do here. Zone 2 Level. Next, we need an Analog Input GPIO block. Drag an MXE Analog GPI to the workspace and connect the block to Input Device. Then select Analog Output and click Level. Drag the MXE Master Level block onto the Output Device Connection cutout. In the drop-down menu, you can select the zone, so we use Zone 2. You can also set the level range, so let's use minus 80 to 10. Finally, click Devices, then drag the Matrix 1 device block onto the Input Device Cutout. Right-click the Matrix 1 device block and choose Duplicate. Connect the duplicated block to the output device connection cutout. Finally, once you've finished defining tasks and you're online with your system, click the Deploy button to start the tasks running on the MXE5. If you're not yet online, or the logic configuration is incomplete, the button will be deactivated. Congratulations! The MXE Zone Mixer Zone 2 level can now be controlled by applying a 0 to 10 volt control voltage to GPIO 1.